Hello, this is Pastor Mark Taylor from Taylor Global Missions, coming to you from Athens, Georgia. Today it's about 33 degrees. It feels like about 23, so that's why I'm wearing my, my sweatshirt. And just want to greet everybody in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and give you an update on uh, our effort to raise money for food bags for my July trip to Honduras. We have collected $670, which is uh, 67 food bags, and we're looking trying to raise uh, at least uh, $7,000 in order to have enough food bags to, to take care of all the families that we will be ministering to while we're there. But today I want to bring you a, a, an encouraging word to, from God's Word. And the Lord said if we have, in 1 John 1, 6 and 7, if we have fellowship with Him, then we need to have fellowship with one another. So I would encourage you to, to uh, think about uh, how that you and I can better connect with other people. In fact, uh, the, the title of this is The Importance of the Others Connection, Connecting with Others. There's at least four types of connections. One of them is no connection, in which people just uh, uh, have either been hurt or they have been uh, isolated from other people in uh, the Christian family, and they really have very little interaction with other Christians outside of maybe possibly going to church on Sunday mornings. So I would encourage you, if you're in that no connection zone, that you find you a small group, find you a church that has a Bible study, or find you some friends that would like to have a Bible study and begin that. The second group is of connections is bad connections, and that is those people that will uh, draw you away from the Lord and away from spiritual things. I would encourage you to to uh, avoid that as much as possible. I realize that sometimes we have to work with people or we have people in our family that are not always uh, good influences on us, but uh, we have choices where we can make uh, uh, and not have as much fellowship with those that are dragging us down. Third of all, we have fake connections or connections that uh, we think are real, but they're not. For instance, uh, in in people that uh, uh, will try to uh, tell you that they're going to do great things for you, or there are certain thing TV programs or TV uh, things that that offer you all type of joy and peace and and love with with uh, other things outside of God's word. And it just won't work. Without the Holy Spirit, you and I can do nothing. And finally, real connections. And that's where we we connect with one another in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I hope you'll find that group. I hope you'll find those uh, a group of people that want to speak about the Lord and talk about His second coming, talk about wonderful things. May God bless you today and may may He uh, give you all that you need to, to endure all the trials that Satan is trying to, to put on all of us. And God bless you today, and we will talk again very soon.